Hey folks, uh, John Becker here, State Representative from Claremont County, 65th House District, giving you another update on what's going on in Ohio. Hey, I'm just going to cut uh, straight to the chase here and uh, you know, let you know I sent out a uh, press release uh, today as uh, well as a uh, filing in the um, uh, 12th uh, District Court of Appeals asking for uh, sanctions against uh, Attorney General Yost for a, uh, a document that uh, he filed with the court uh, last week. And also in my press release, I'm asking for his immediate resignation. So what's going on, folks? So background information, as you know, I've been asking uh, people around the state to file a private citizen uh, affidavit. That does not cost anything. You do not need an attorney and file that with your uh, uh, clerk of courts. That's been done in, I think, nine or 10 counties uh, so far. And I've had inqui inquiries from, I think, about 40 counties uh, or people, you know, in 40 counties around the state that are interested in doing the same thing there. So is a uh, kind of a notch up from that. And this part is not free. It's called a, a writ of mandamus. That is uh, what, what you could file with an appeals appellate court or you could file it actually in various uh, different courts. But that's something that's not free and not cheap and something that I have done out of my own pocket. Uh, rather than using uh, any kind of taxpayer funds or uh, campaign funds. Uh, however, the Attorney General is uh, using his office to come after me personally, asking uh, for sanctions for uh, filing this uh, writ of mandamus and these uh, private uh, citizen affidavits to make an example out of me somehow to uh, put a stop to this uh, statewide. So obviously they are afraid that uh, this is going to get traction and all this is going to take is one prosecutor, and this is what scares them, one prosecutor somewhere in the state that's willing to just frankly do his job and follow the law. The law says do an investigation. So what comes out of that investigation? Well, hopefully it's the obvious that the, that the governor has been violating the law since March in multiple ways. In those multiple ways, well, I got 10 uh, criminal acts that, uh, that are outlined in, in the uh, private citizen affidavit. So the, uh, the attorney general just really over the top, you know, some of his language that he used, in, in a, and this is in a court document, you know, willy nilly, hither and yon, referenced werewolves, this is a court document. You know, so he's reduced himself in, in the office of attorney general to that of a Twitter troll. It's, uh, it's really unfortunate. And uh, so my attorney has, uh, has filed a, a document in the 12th district today uh, asking for sanctions against him. And, and, and something he told me that uh, some attorneys talk about, when you, have the, uh, f when you have the facts on your side, you pound the facts. When you have the law on your side, you, you pound the law. You, uh, when you have neither on your side, you, you pound the table. And uh, clearly, uh, Attorney General Yost is uh, pounding the table. So his, uh, his attempts to uh, harass, intimidate, and bully me and the people of Ohio uh, will not work. Uh, I am not backing down, and uh, we're taking this to the, to the next level. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, the courts are going to decide uh, who's right and who's wrong and, and, and what's going to happen here. So uh, my information is at the end of this video if you wish to uh, contact me. And uh, I strongly encourage getting these private citizen affidavits filed. You don't have to worry about the, the courts coming after you or the attorney general because uh, there is case law on the books, at least in the 12th uh, 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 District uh, Court of Appeals, that said uh, these actions are not um, uh, actionable or not uh, sanctionable. So uh, there is no risk uh, to, to the public here. Well, maybe I shouldn't say no risk. I guess anything could happen. Let's just say minimal risk, both the law uh, statute and case law are on the side of the people. That said, there are no guarantees. But uh, hey, regardless, uh, again, if there's anything I can do to, to, to help uh, anybody out there, uh, please reach out to me. Again, this is John Becker. Have a great day. Bye-bye.